Hi, Tim. Welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Microsoft Fabric Master Program. In today's session, we will talk about how to install One Leg File Explorer and how to access Fabric objects using the One Leg File Explorer. So, what is One Leg File Explorer? So, One Leg File Explorer is an application which seamlessly integrates our Microsoft One Leg and a Data Lake for Microsoft with the Windows File Explorer. What it means is First, let's discuss what it means. Okay, if you come to this particular uh, system right here, normally we have a OneDrive and all. How we will browse it and see. Similarly, I want to add a one lake here so that in my Fabric account, to whatever workspaces I have, whatever one lake uh, that I have, everything I can browse it and I can delete a files. I can add a files from the local system. So those files are automatically available in the lake of storage. So for that, the first step, let's get started with how to install the one leg file explorer. For that, just to come here, step one is you need to just to say download one leg file explorer. Click on this. Once you just click on this, come down, you have an option to download. Just to click on this to download the one leg file explorer. So when you download this one leg file explorer, uh, what happens is it is around the 78 MB. It will just download very uh, quickly. Once it is downloaded, just go to your download folder. Okay. And you can just filter out with the today date. What is downloaded? Yeah, it is just downloaded. Okay. This one, just double click on this. It is asking you to install. Just click install. So installation also will be done very quickly within uh, 20 seconds. Okay. Now you see installation is completed. When your one leg is downloaded is the first step and installation is the second step. Third step is we need to log in into this one leg. <clears throat> what is this one leg file explorer you are using for? You are using for accessing the objects that you created in this particular account. What is this account? This is a fabric account. Let me show you. This is my fabric workspace. This I logged in with this account. So what I'm trying to do now using this particular account i am trying to log in into the one leg file explorer there are three steps i have downloaded is the step one second step is i have installed the third step is i logged in so once you have logged in successfully so you can see one leg uh, symbol logo you can able to see right click on this click on account to see with the which account you have logged in this is the account to which i logged in the second step is you can go here earlier you did not see this but now you are seeing this you can just click on this you can see there are two workspaces that you have one is default workspace the second one is which you have created now you can just go to my workspace you see you don't have any lake storage so nothing you have in your my workspace now what i'll do i'll go to my workspace go to data factory within this data factory i'll go to workspaces go to my workspace from my workspace, I'll go and create a one lake house. Okay, this lake house name is Cloud Pandit Test Lake House 001 and create it. So I just created this particular lake house here. So within this particular lake house, if you want to create a folders, you can just go ahead and create the subfolders or whatever folders you want to create. You can able to create. Now you can see this is the folder I created. This is the lake house account now come here okay go to explorer this is explorer right this is my workspace so this i want to sync up because if you go inside my workspace i'm not getting that so in order to sync up right click on this you can see one leg you see sync from one leg just click on that so that if you go now you will see a cloud pandit the lake the test lake of 001 under that you have files, tables, uh, table maintenance. Under files, I created a one more folder called input that you can able to see here. Once you go inside input, now I want to upload some file in this particular location. To do that, what I'll do, I'll go here. I'll bring some file from here. I'll just to take some three, four files from here. I'll just copy them into the just my workspace, lake house, files, input files. So here I'll be just uploading these files. When you upload this, you can see what it is saying. If you just uh, keep the cursor on the status, it will tell you 
these particular files are available in your local so you're available on this device okay this symbol is local local symbol but if you come back you can see this is also saying it is uh, just updated if you can wait for some time it will tell you so this is a symbol for the cloud this is a symbol for the cloud so what you can one more time does is you can just click on this lake house one lake and you can sync from one lake once you click for sync from lake house go back once again sorry this is in the cloud so this is in the cloud but files within this files there is something is updated from the local that is what it is indicating you can see so this is basically tells you what this particular symbol tells you is this will tell you available on this device okay now as i uploaded these files from local let's go and see my workspace whether it has those files or not okay so now you can see all these files are available here so that's how you no need to come here and you no need to just check it everything from the fabric workspace everything how you are browsing through your normal folders in your laptop similar to that this one like you can go and you can browse it you can create a folders you can just upload the uh, new files whatever you are doing everything you can able to sync with your one like if something is not available here that will be reflected there if something is not available there that will be reflected here that's how you can able to sync it okay so the next step is let's say we have seen how to install this particular one lake and uh, how we can able to explore how to sync these two things now in case okay in case if you want to uh, uninstall just to come here again you can just search for one lake okay this is the one lake you see a option called uninstall if you can able to uninstall now what happens let's quickly understand okay so one lake is getting uninstalled just wait for a second now you can see the symbol is gone from here okay now if you can able to come out from here if you can able to come out from here uh, sorry just here what you can do is uh, right click on this <clears throat> you should see show more options i think one second yeah here you have a refresh button just to refresh it so that will be gone very soon let me see once again all the yeah so no need to see so as soon as i refresh here so there is a refresh downloads normally there is a refresh button is there right which basically refresh everything so what happens is uh, that is gone okay when you refresh this so that is gone only explorer is gone so that's how you can install and that's how you can able to uninstall the one lake file explorer team if you have any questions please feel free to put your questions in the comment section i'll answer I request all of you to subscribe my YouTube channel and encourage me. Thank you.